All right. Looks like I'm back. Second video. Uh, we got a. Uh, uh, you know what? This is. I'm doing a base, and uh, I got all this stuff to show in this Black Star amp mini. Drinking a energy drink. I got this to show you. And uh, a work in progress. I showed you that H string. And uh, well, I've got to do a little cleaning to this before I do a video on that. But that's on the list. Back to uh, back to this base. So I have an Ibanez Geo Sound Gear. Um, GS GSR series. Um, it's supposed to be. It started production in 1987 still being made today so uh, I got all my information off of fandom wiki so uh, <laughs> if it's wrong <laughs> eh, let me know it might be it might be wrong a little bit um it's supposed to replace the Roadster 2 base series. Oh, hopefully this video doesn't go upside down during the uh, playing phase. Uh, so the body might be... It could be basswood or it could be mahogany. I really kind of don't know. <laughs> uh, I looked into it, but... Couldn't find whether it was, you know, basswood or mahogany. Either one. Uh, rosewood neck. Rosewood fretboard. My bad. Maple neck. <clears throat> GSR. 105EX. 1P-2. It's a five-string bass. I think these are Ibanez machine heads. Uh, I'm not too sure. They're not branded, so... Bolt on. Oh, hey. This one does have the uh, strap pins. <laughs> so, I bought this somewhere in New Jersey. Single pickup. One volume, one tone. Hardtail bridge. Mm. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. Nope. One hand and a fucking forearm. Oh, now just... Yeah, I think I got that right. Oh. Almost. Ill... Son of a bitch. So... It looks to me like it's 34 and a half, maybe? I don't know. 34 and a half inch uh, scale length. Um, <clears throat> got no idea what gauge it's, that's on this. So they made this because it's a uh, more rounded and it's supposed to be thin, fast, and smooth playing. We'll see about that. Uh, since I'm a tech, yeah, maybe never mind. I was thinking about opening that and showing you the inside of it, but uh, you know what? I don't think that's ever been taken off, and uh, I really don't want to go through that hassle.
So I'm still waiting to get a uh, a camera instead of a phone. Still plan still fucking making these videos on a goddamn phone. So uh, yeah, it's an Ibanez Geo base. So uh, I bought this for buck fifty. It's not crazy expensive. It's a uh, good, f affordable base. I'm going to do another comparison with a uh, fret wrap with a base. Did the H string with this, now I'm going to do a base. Probably not going to. Oh. Oh, we'll see. We'll see if I do that too. All my guitars. Maybe, maybe not. This one's going to be. Probably a little bit short by the looks of it. The uh, the video length. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get to the playing demo. Before before that, let me show you the line. It's going through an orange. Crush twelve. Through to a full bore metal. To a Peterson to the base. You know what? I forgot to tune it. So, uh, you're gonna see me tune the damn thing. Alright. Hopefully, this doesn't go upside down like last time. Hopefully, I'm in shot. I can't see. There's no, uh, screen's not facing me. So, have to see what it looks like when I go over it later. So uh, we'll also compare fingers to a pick. Be warned, I'm not much of a bass player, so this might not sound great. I think that's good enough. So, uh, volume. Tone. Works. It's not going to be much of a playing demo. I mean, there's one a single pickup, there's no uh, switch on it, so only going to be one pickup. Now with distortion. No 
tone, tones off. I'm not familiar with uh, the tuning. I don't play this bass very much. But uh, this fifth string is tuned to a low B. Not too sure if that's where it should be, but uh, that's where it is. Slowly but surely gonna understand the bass better. Alright, now pick with distortion. This is a distortion pedal. I think you would use a overdrive more than a distortion. I'm not too sure. Again, not a bass player. All right. Now with the now with the fret wrap. Clean. Now with the pick. Distortion. Kind of sounds like a fuzz without when you uh, roll off that tone. At least to me. Yeah. I'm sure, it sounds like shit to a lot of people. Without a pick. That just sounds like it's a fuzz pedal. Well, it does sound a little bit cleaner to me with the fret wrap. At least, definitely the, cl the uh, clean tones. So, I think this is uh, a slim D neck. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's uh, different for a bass or a guitar. I'm still learning a little bit. So, yeah. It does feel really nice to play. Uh, pros and cons. Well, it's got a lot of pros, I'll tell you that much. Cons, it's a bass. Uh, just a joke. It's real to me, but all you bass players, it's a joke. Um, yeah. Cons, I don't know how to fucking play it. Pros, so it feels really nice. There's no hard edges at all, so it's really nice to put your... You rest your forearm right there. Um, I saw people resting their finger right here. Usually when I sit down with it, I rest my thumb here, but 
keeps tearing up a bit, so... Well, it's a five string. You got an extra whole, uh... everything whole extra range yeah, I can't remember the fucking words there it's a great guitar a great bass didn't set it up yet haven't changed the strings I think I got this a couple of months ago so the strings are probably going to need a restring well, I strung it up one time, and, uh, <laughs> they don't look that great to me. Hopefully that's in camera. In view. Hopefully it didn't stop recording either. Alright, well, that's the Ibanez Geo Sound Garning. It's a nice bass. Yeah. If you're a beginner and looking looking into buying a bass, I recommend this. This is a humbucker by the way. Forgot to mention this. When I was uh learning, <laughs> I didn't realize that this was a humbucker. One of my bass friends had to tell me that these were humbuckers. Alright, that's it. Peace.